Hey, wow, very quoted. So, today I want to introduce you in our worldwide first incredible, awesome solution for something incredibly easy for us as humans. But in fact, it's something that really is a boundary for today's automation. I want to talk about with you how to automate the unknown, something that we cannot predict. In 2005, I worked beside my equitation in a shipboard factory. All processes were perfectly automated and fine-tuned. But in the end, around all this perfect automation, a lot of manual labor forces, I was doing repetitive and boring tasks all the days. They helped this automation to keep the process alive. What in detail is it? What is the fact that is not automatable today? I would like to give you an example, and I would like to perform in front of your eyes a task that is even called, in research, the holy grail of robotics. Let's have a look. Make it again. It's grasping of arbitrary objects out of a bin and place it precisely in intelligent ways, like human can do this with the dexterity of human labors. What you have just seen is called bin picking, or in intro logistics also called as piece picking. The worldwide need to automate this, especially in high cost countries, is unbelievable urgent. So, looking in production on the logistics, you see just some numbers here. Production are taking 38% of overall workforces just for repetitive and boring picking and placing tasks. And 500,000 people are missing. More important is intro logistics area. There are nearly 3 million workers. This is five times more than Nuremberg citizens are here. Just doing this task day by day to perform our orders, for example, Amazon's online shopping. And the automation cannot do this. In times of labor shortage, in time of we have pandemic situations, we have an aging society, and we have the cost pressure of human labor forces because rising labor costs. So what in detail is the problem? You can see here's a problem. On the left side, the objects are mostly known to humans as well as to automation. But the problem arises when we go to something more chaotic, for something more unstructured, for something more unpredictable and unknown. I'm talking about the left side, uh, the right side, I'm sorry, the right side. The right side shows intro logistics, and here, the objects are mostly not known. You don't have a model, a CAD model for it. You have only 100,000 of different stop-keeping units so articles in a warehouse you have to deal with. And in fact, what can happen with such objects? It's completely random in a box. And something more difficult, it could be completely deformable. So, give and automation of systems, a task to deal with something unknown, incredible hard, as I said. So how we can solve it and how we are solving this and provide it to you worldwide? Looking on the uh, predictable side of problems, the blue one here, the things that you can see here all on the fair, the beautiful machines were doing really precisely and perfectly fine-tuned tasks with predictable objects, predictable sceneries, predictable routines. But as said, if we come to a really easy task like grasp any objects, it's unpredictable. So we are entering the upper level of automation. And here, how to solve it, which mechanism, which Programming can be used for this. Today's automation is mainly based 
on programming, or so also on training objects in an object, uh, in, a, in a system. But in fact, this does not help with unpredictable objects. The research showed us that we can switch from classical programming to machine learning approaches that enter also the upper level of automation. So we will train a system to grasp any object instead of program it routine by routine, step by step, with ifs and else, because this is not reliable, this cannot help. And in fact, if we see something predictable, it's like having this puzzle here. This puzzle is something for me very hard to solve, maybe unbelievable hard, but give it this task to automation and giving can you solve it for me with your intelligence? It's not a big deal. It's a piece of cake for automation today. You can find a free app in your, web, in your app store. You can download it and solve the puzzle. And same, a computer can beat any person at the moment on this planet in chess. A computer can beat any person at Jeopardy. This is what artificial intelligence can provide today. But this is also the category of predictable. Even it's looks fantastic. And coming to the point, grasping and manipulating arbitrary objects, there are the limits of automation until today. And here we are talking not about terminators, so really uh, not so friendly machines. We are talking about something that even our child learns in the first year of their life. How to reasoning an object, how to plan, how to approach it, grasp it, and place it precisely. And we as humans can do this task intrinsically day for day, because we learned it over decades of our years. Let's go in detail. What you need is called the production, um, perception action cycle. So the firstly, a system needs to have a sensing of the scenery that it's working in. A sensing in this case means not working with I.O. modules. It's not working with um, analog inputs. It's working with a 3D model of the environment. So in fact, we are working here with 3D camera systems because the problem is in the 3D space. On the right side, how to make the action to grasp any objects, very easy. We have so flexible and beautiful machines out there. Robotics, it's the most flexible machine you can imagine. It's nearly to our human's arm and human hands. What is missing in this chain is something in the middle. The reasoning to understand the scenery in 3D space, find the right grasping poses for any object, and execute it, give it to execution to the robot. And this missing link is something that Siemens provides you from now on. We at Siemens created a new portfolio from artificial intelligence skills ready for use out of the box. We call this robotics AI, and we give it to you, all the people who want to have it, to upgrade standard robotics systems to create advanced robotic systems capable to support our human labor forces out there. The first two skills I want to introduce you in is 3D picking of unknown objects and 3D placing of unknown objects. We are doing the AI skill for it. And what we're not doing, and you can get it from the market, is a 3D sensing, because they are really beautiful and extraordinary, great 3D vision systems on the market. And we're also not doing this robot things. This is something that you can already get from the market, and there are so many good brands uh, to solve this problem. What's, what's missing is the AI skill. And now I want to show you just an example how this could look like in detail.
So put it in a nutshell, what you're seeing here is a new approach from Siemens, something new on the market, something worldwide new. An approach of giving you the capability, the skills to advance normal robotic system with AI to be piece-picking robots, advanced piece-picking robots. And this in a way that we learn from our already existing pilot customers. We're doing this in a reliable, the most economical way because we understood that this new technology needs to be justified at the end. The next thing is out of the shelf flexibility. You don't have to train this. We made it for you. Just take it, put it in your robot, and it will work. And it's made for arbitrary objects. And the last thing is modular, open, and efficient beside easy to use and integration. Because we also learned there are not so many AI experts on the market. There are not so many vision experts on the market, even not robot experts. So we put our software in a really easy to use approach. And if you are interested in, visit us and through a booth 376 376. And you can see our Yaskawa demo module just to see what is possible with Yaskawa robot. We can do this with any robot and also see which vision system we are supporting and how we help to reduce reliance on labor shortage and amplify our human potential. Thank you very much.